know most of this. All right? So right now, I'm just going to give you some of the additions. What, what did he expect, okay? I'm going to perform with adding the, the undercarriage at this point. The undercarriage. Everyone has your, your booklets. Yeah, this is this booklet right here. Yeah. Yeah? You need it. Bring it out. About the hydraulic um, box over there, you're gonna you're gonna also learn how to inspect the engine compartment. All right, that's why I'm telling you. Keep this one. This this booklet here is pretty much updated. Okay, it's in order. Okay. So right here. You have a picture of pretty much what to look for. Okay, this is just so you have an idea on what you're looking at. Alright? The front wheel area. Okay, this this front wheel area, you can break it up in sections. Okay? I prefer you break it up into sections because then it's easier to understand it. It's easier to learn it. Okay. Now, if you have a pen, let me borrow this pen. Okay. This is my easel right here. All right, you gotta be creative. <laughs> okay, this front wheel area, I have it broken up into sections. The first four, the first four are your suspension parts. The next three brake parts. Then you have two parts here. All right, the brake drum and brake lining. I prefer that you mention these at the front of the wheel. Okay, right now this part here, this is for your undercarriage inspection. All right, which means behind the wheel. Okay, but when you're in front of the wheel, I prefer you saying the brake drum and brake lining right after you mention um, your brake vents are clear debris. Okay, when you when you say your brake vents are clear of debris. That's when you go and you say the brake drum is not cracked. No dents or holes, no loose, no loose or missing bolts. Okay, then you say the brake liner should not be worn dangerously thin, it's not accessible. Okay. Front wheel only has three steering parts. And then you got your U-bolt. Try to split it up like that and, and learn them in parts, right? In sections, right? Because the first four, steer, steering, steering parts, steering parts, okay? Now, the good news, it's only on the front wheel. You don't steer the rear wheel, right? So when you get to the rear wheel, it's pretty much the same order. It's the same thing, minus steering parts, okay? There's some differences though, but we'll go over it. Who's pen is this? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna kinda go, I'm just gonna go over it the way DMV would actually test it, okay? And remember, remember what I said, you need to split certain things up. You, you can't just group things together, like when we were talking about the, the gauges, right? You can't group them and say, all, all my gauges are intact. Secure and working properly. No, they want to hear 
break things up. Okay? Right, so do me a favor, just kind of step back so that I have a little bit of room. Um, my five marker lights slash blue lights working properly. They're intact. Can I say they're secure? No. I never touched them here to tell you that they were secure. I can tell you they're intact, meaning it's not cracked or broken. Okay? And I can tell you they're working because I see the lights are on. Right. My destination slash route sign is intact, working properly. My emergency 911 lights are intact. I can't tell you that they're working. I can't tell you that they're secure. Okay? Window rubber seal intact, not cut. Windshield wipers have good tension. And the blades, no cuts. Not cut or broken. License plate is secured to the bus. Windshield wiper, fluid is properly capped and there's no leaks, okay? You understand? You see how I'm working my way from the top to the bottom so that I don't miss anything in between, okay? My right directional, left directional slash hazard light, okay? Separated. They want you to say both. Okay, remember, it's a point system. You need 30 points in order to advance to the next phase, right? Get all the 30 points. Mention hazard lights and also mention your right and left directionals. Okay, they're secure to the bus. They're intact, they're working properly. Front panel, secure to the bus. My right and my left headlights are secure to the bus. They're intact. Then you're going to look at it and say my low beam and high beam are working properly. Okay. Front bumper is secured to the bus. I have no leaks, nothing hanging. What could, what, what kind of leaks could you get here? Power steering, the engine. Four. The DAW does it. Four. All right. So once I did from top to bottom, I'm gonna go straight to my mirrors. All right. The only time, this is the only time you're gonna check the right side of the bus. You never check the right side of the bus. My arm bracket, the mirror case, and the glass is intact, secure to the bus. The arm bracket, the case, and the glass, intact, secure to the bus. Everyone come over here, please. Come on down, come on down. Give everyone space. myself, I've mentioned the three marker lights right away because I could get them. You understand? So, one, two, three. My marker lights slash clearance lights, they're intact, they're working properly. Teardrop glass is intact, secure, secure to the bus. Reflective stickers in place. Door number one, secure to the bus. Upper and lower glass, intact, secure. Door number two, Right, secure to the bus. Upper and lower glass are intact. Secure to the bus. My speaker has no debris. Near the light is intact. Secure to the bus. Okay. Destination slash route sign is intact. Working properly. Right side window number one is secure to the bus. Intact. Right side directional. Slash has a light intact, secure, working properly. All right, courtesy light intact, secure, working properly. Wheel hub molding secure to the bus. Okay, and uh, muff flap secure to the bus in place. Okay, uh, no debris lodged in the wheel hub area. Okay, tire front tire is. 4.30 seconds, all right, no less than 4.30 seconds, 
cannot be recapped, regrooved, rethreaded. Okay, you guys understand that, right? Yeah. The back tie is two thirty seconds, and it can be recapped, regrooved, rethreaded. Tire skirt. It's okay. Same thing. It's a tire skirt. It's a wheel hub molding. It's whatever yeah. you're gonna call it. The uh, flare, the skirt. You know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, okay. So 432. No, no less than 430 seconds tire thread. Cannot be recapped, regrooved, rethreaded. The face of the tire has no cuts, no bubbles, no damage. The rim. It's not cracked, not dented, not welded. No welds. The brake vents are all clear of debris. Remember the booklet, what I told you now? The brake drum, which is right here, all right? It's not cracked, not dented, no holes, all right? The, the brake lining, which, which is inside there, all right? Brake lining is not dangerously thin. The wheel lugs are all nice and tight, no signs of rust. The flags are all facing the same direction, not broken or melted. The wheel hub lugs are all tight. All right, the hub is properly sealed. There's no signs of holding or bracing. Uh, one more thing that I forgot. The valve. The valve. Where is the valve? I don't see it. Okay, valve. The valve stem is not broken, not bent. Would you like me to check the tire pressure? Okay. If he says no, he or she says no, you say, okay, it should be at 115 PSI cold. 115, 115 cold, okay. Right now it's hot, because we drove over here, so it should be, a, it could be a little higher, but I'm gonna check it, anyone, not know how to check this. Everybody knows how to check the tire pressure? All right, I'll, I'll perform this. Okay. Now, the difference between the front tire and the rear tire, the front tire valve stem is sticking out like this. So you use this one here. The rear tire is inward, so you gotta pull it, okay? Approximately 120. Okay, take a look at it. Alright, All right. All right, so you just would let whoever it is know it's at 120 psi. Okay. So if it's under, like, like, say if it's like one. You're just gonna tell the truth. Alright, you're showing them that you know how to inspect the bus. Okay. Alright, so. That was the front tire, front of the tire. Now this booklet is gonna explain everything else, okay? Which is the undercarriage. This is the new things that you didn't have to do before. Okay, so, remember how I broke it up? Four suspension parts, right? Four suspension parts, so that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm not trying to remember it, I'm not trying to memorize it. I'm thinking four suspension parts, and I look right over here, the first thing I see is my spring mount. Right over here, okay? Spring mount, okay? Properly attached to the bus with all the hardware, okay? The next thing I see is the airbag, okay? So the airbag is secured to the bus, no cuts, no audible leaks, all right? No audible leaks. The third thing would be my shock absorber, okay? I'll just look. Shock absorber is located back here, somewhere. Yeah. It's all the way back there, all right? It's properly mounted to the bus, secure with all the hardware, no leaks. No leaks, okay? 
And then you're gonna have to mention the leaf spring. We don't have any leaf springs on this bus. Just mention the leaf spring, okay? Leaf spring is not accessible. Okay, on things that are not accessible, you're gonna say leaf spring is not accessible, but if it was, I will make sure it was securely mounted with all the hardware, not broken, no scissoring. Okay? Exactly what it says here. Alright? Hey Frank, so, but in this picture, man, I'm sorry. It doesn't say anything about the shock, shock absorbers on the on the yeah, diagram. Yeah, well, we put that picture there because of, these are the things that you see right away. Right. From right here, this is what you see. The shock absorber, you can't see it too much because it's behind the